Hey guys, welcome to our channel Coders Arcade. In today's video, we are going to create a database for MySQL course. So let's begin. So to create your first database, what you need to do is you need to open your workbench. So here MySQL workbench is opened up and uh, here as you can see this is MySQL connections in MySQL connections we have one connection called local instance MySQL 80 so this connection was created in our previous video so if you haven't watched that video yet I will give the link in the description below you can go ahead and watch that video now to create your database what you need to do is you need to open this connection so I'm going to click onto this connection here and it will ask me the password here so here I'm going to give the password that I have created for this connection in a previous video and here if I click on to this OK button you will see we are into our connection here so we are into our local instant my can my SQL 80 connection so as you can see here in here there are different different options here so this is how your connection in your workbench looks like when you open it for the first time let's have an overview of what the options you get here here as you can see in your toolbar this there are different different options here so what these options does is you see this first option here this is to create your database and the second option is to open the database and there are different different options related to that database here so you can just create a new table you can create new views you can create new procedures functions and all this stuff we are going to discuss in detail in our as we progress into our course so stay tuned for that so this is uh, the different options that you get in your toolbar here as you can see this is our query section so once you click on to this new sql tab one more query section will be created here there you can write your queries so most of the time in our course in this course we are going to spend most of our time in this query sections writing our codes here then this is the sql edition section so we are going to discuss about it later on so in this uh, sql addition there are two tabs here snippets and context help so we are going to use it later in our course as we progress again so so let's move on to the other section this is the output section here whatever program we write or whatever code we write in the query section when we execute that code we get the output in this output window here then here is the navigator panel here so inside a navigator panel there are two sections here so first tab is for administration and the second tab is for schemas if you click on to this administration tab you will get different options here so all the administrative options here so here you can start your server here you can stop your server start your server and there are different options related to server controls so we are going to again see this as we progress into our video this is the schema section here in this schema section all the database that you create are stored in this schema section. So here, as you can see, there is one sys database already created here. So if you see this, this database is what this workbench uses internally for its work. So we're, we are not going to delete this sys database for now. Here is the information tab here. So in this information tab, whatever you schema you select, that information will be shown in this information panel here. So suppose if I drop down this system and if I click onto this sys config, then you can see it is showing me the information about this table here. Now you see these options here, these three options here. So you can use these options to clear your workspace. So suppose if you click onto this button right here, so this will hide your SQL editions tab if you click on to this button then this will hide your output window if you click on to this then it will hide your navigation panel we need that navigation panel now this looks beautiful we can use this layout for our workspace so now let's create our database so in the description I have given you one zip file you need to download that zip file this is the zip file here so if you double click on to that if you open that you will see there are different database there are different sql files here so these are all the database different databases that we are going to use in our course so you need to download that and you need to extract that once you've extracted you need to go back to your workbench and you need to click on to this 
second option right here which is open a sql script file so if you click onto that you need to navigate onto that zip file that you have extracted and you need to open this first one this create database.sql file here so now if you click onto this and you click on to open here so when you click onto this you will see that i'll zoom it onto you here you can see this is our sql code here this is a sql code here for this database so don't worry about that in starting it will look a lot more difficult but don't worry as we progress into our course this code will be a lot easier for you to understand so what you need to do is next step is you need to click onto this thunder looking like option here icon here so if you click onto that this will execute this whole code here so now this button has its own function also so suppose if you select this code here this piece of code so i have selected this piece of code and if you click onto this th thunder button then this will execute only this selected code here which we don't want but you can use this to only select and you can just execute that part of the program so we need to execute the whole program here so i'm not going to select anything and just i'm going to click onto this thunder icon so once you click onto thunder icon you can see in our output section everything is ticked so you can see everything is ticked here so that means we are good to go and here in your schemas tab as you can see here you still see there are no databases created so you, what you need to do is you need to refresh it so this is the refresh button if you click onto this refresh button you can see there are different different databases that got created using this create database code here i'm just going to hide this output panel you can see in our navigation panel here there are different different new databases came so now we don't want this create database file anymore i'm just going to cut it and here let's open one database file so let's say we will go to sql store so you can see here there are different different options here so you can see sql store sql invoicing sql inventory sql hr so all of these are the databases now these databases contain different objects here so if you drop down one of the databases so sql store we have dropped down onto this these are all the different objects that you get in a database so this is the tables this is the views this is the stored procedures these are the functions so tables are the tables in which we store our all our data then this option which is view option so this is nothing but you can use it to create more reports so by with using this option here you can see different different tables and you can fetch different multiple datas from one from different different tables to one table now it is very useful to create a report so we are going to see it later on when we when we progress on to our course you see here next options are stored procedure and function so these are nothing but the something like modules you can say modules so here we store all our pre-made functions or modules so that when we need those modules of those procedures we are going to fetch that you are going to just call that in a main program and that will give us the output suppose if we made make a stored procedure of let's say we want to find total number of customers in any place let's say total number of customers in bangalore so what we can do is we can just call that stored procedure and we can just ask ask it total number of customers in bangalore and it will give me the output of total number of customers in bangalore instead of writing the code for total number of customers again and again so functions are also used for that we are going to see it later on as we progress so let's say we are going to open something so here we are going to go on to our sql store and here we are going to go to our customers once you hover the mouse onto your any of the uh, tables here so if i hover onto customer you will see these three options here so if you click onto this table looking like option here so if you click onto that so you can see this customer table is opened up so this way if you click onto this uh, table looking like option here button here you can see your uh, table will be opened up in this window here 
so you see customer id first name last name date birth date phone uh, phone address city all of these are the columns and these are the rows now, now these rows are also called the records so this is how a table in a database looks like so we are going to discuss more on that in our next video for now this is how you can create your first database for this course in our mysql workbench and this is how it looks like when you open your mysql workbench for the first time so thanks for watching i hope you understood today's topic i'll catch you guys in the next one so this is all about this video guys thanks for watching hope you like the video and if you like it then tell us in the comment section below if you have any doubts then post them in the comment section i will definitely try to clear those doubts also like share and subscribe to our channel coders arcade and press the bell icon so that you will get a notification when we post our new video thank you happy learning